Sasha's pain at the pumps Barack Obama's 21-year-old daughter looks glum as she fills her tank at LA gas station while sporting a very funky multicolored ensemble after average national price soared to $5.014 a gallon. The crippling cost of living in the is taking its toll on almost everyone even former first daughter Sasha Obama, who wore a rather pain expression as she filled up her car with gas on Monday, hours after the average national price soared to more than $5 a gallon for the first time in history. Sasha, 21, was pictured sporting a very colorful ensemble while pumping gas at a mobile station in Los Angeles, where prices were listed at a staggering $7.69 per gallon for regular unleaded and $7.79 for premium unleaded. But while the younger daughter of former President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle failed to raise a smile as she completed her costly errand, she still managed to convey some positivity through her unique multicolored ensemble, which featured a cropped patchwork-style hoodie, a matching patchwork skirt, and a bright yellow t-shirt. Sasha added some further flair to her look in the form of some bright beaded necklaces, chunky rings, a silver belly button ring, and a pair of boldly colored Nike sneakers. Biden is facing growing political backlash as high prices increase the pain for American families, who are seeing daily records at the gas pump. Overall, global oil prices are rising, compounded by sanctions against Russia, a leading oil producer, because of its war against Ukraine. In addition, there are limits on refining capacity in the U.S. because some refineries shut down during the pandemic. The combined result is seeing the cost of filling up surging, draining money from Americans who are facing the highest rate of inflation since 1981. On Monday, it was revealed that thousands of Californians are now fleeing to Mexico amid the soaring cost of living in the Golden State, with many taking advantage of the ongoing work-from-home opportunities being offered by their companies in order to enjoy a cheaper lifestyle in Central America. Others who are required to work in office have